Max Brantley from the Arkansas Times on Thursday, March the 9th. Let's start with Obamacare or the repeal and replacement of Obamacare with Trump Care, let's call that now, in the U.S. Congress. A House committee, after more than a day's worth of deliberations, has moved the Paul Ryan Trump Care bill out of committee. But I don't think it's going anywhere. Nobody likes it. The Senate doesn't like it. All organizations don't like it. Trump says it's great, despite all the universal opposition. I think the most significant thing comes from Arkansas. U.S. Senator Tom Cotton went farther than he went yesterday when he said, we shouldn't move too quickly, to say that this version of the bill is actually worse than Obamacare. Those are pretty strong words from somebody who hates Obamacare with every fiber of his being. I think Tom Cotton, whatever else you can say about him, is smart. This bill isn't going to pass. Something else is going to have to stand in its place. He's getting off the train now. Certainly Donald Trump can get off whenever he needs to and blame it on Obama. That's worked well for him before. Let's move on to the Arkansas State Capitol. Most of the news there, as usual, is bad, at least from my point of view. A House committee this morning approved a sweeping new school voucher bill in Arkansas. It can be financed by millionaires if they choose to do so. Walton's come to mind. They can transfer their tax dollars owed the state and federal through sort of a shell game into money to send kids to private schools. Unaccountable, not uh, transparent. Private schools with no particular uh, accreditation can get this money with no proof that they can do any better with it. But uh, it's popular in the House. It came out of committee. At the same time today, the House this afternoon got a second crack at a bill that forces public schools in a very unfair uh, negotiating arrangement to give unused school buildings to charter schools that will take more kids out of public schools, whether they're better at educating those kids or not. That bill passed with uh, 53 votes, needing 51 for passage. It had failed by one vote yesterday. I expected it to pass today, and it did. It goes, it goes now to the governor, where uh, he probably will sign it. Elsewhere at the Capitol, uh, what else do we have of a bad news variety? Well, a freedom of choice bill, it, actually a freedom of conscience bill, was defeated in the House committee this morning. This is good news. Uh, the only people who spoke for this bill were from conservative religious organizations. It's meant to protect uh, all types of health care providers, including insurance companies, from refusing to provide medical services to people they have moral objections to. They claim that this wouldn't apply in truly emergency situations, but what really is an emergency and what is truly a, a legitimate moral objection to providing service. These issues were raised and surprisingly they only got 8 of the 11 votes they needed in the committee to pass this bill this morning. I expect there will be another trial on that in, in the future. A notable testimony came from Gregory Bledsoe, the state surgeon general, who's a conservative Republican with a Christian background, but he didn't join his sometimes allies on this bill. He said he'd never seen a time in his medical practice where somebody was forced to do something they didn't believe was right, where an accommodation couldn't be made. And so he deserves a small trophy for his testimony today. Another House committee this morning began work on a pair of bills that ultimately, if approved by voters, would allow an increase in the gas tax to pay for a bond issue and highway construction. It's a long way to go, but they got one favorable vote on one of the two bills this morning. One other piece of uh, nice news in the legislature, which doesn't provide many, there was approval in the House this morning of a bill that would let people who've had a felony conviction on a drug charge still qualify for public assistance. They had not been able to do so on past legislation. Late this afternoon, the Senate approved uh, an amendment to the, the campus carry bill. They pulled the bill out of committee by a majority vote of the Senate and added an amendment. It looks like we're heading toward approval in the Senate of a bill that will allow campus carry to anybody with a concealed carry permit, but with a little bit extra training in uh, active shooter situations, but the bill not only opens the campuses to anybody with this training, it opens some other places, places that sell alcohol, for example, unless those places post signs against it, and the state capitol grounds buildings, so uh, more guns and more places. The NRA has approved of this, so the legislature likely will as well. The New York Times editorial page today gave Arkansas some pretty unflattering attention for its rush to execute eight people in 10 days in April. You know, the governor worries about national image. This, this kind of thing doesn't contribute to it. Uh, they think that it shows a sort of a barbarity on the part of Arkansas to try and rush this through rather than run out of the drugs that are necessary, particularly since one of the drugs has been questioned as to how well it works at preventing cruel and unusual punishment. The governor has that bill that will expand wine sales and grocery stores, but he said he wouldn't decide today on whether to sign it. He is expected to sign it. I don't know why he's waiting. Some interesting news out of Newton County where the Republican County Assessor was reelected last year despite having a pending charge against her for stealing public money to pay for personal expenses. She was charged again today in Boone Circuit Court with uh, 
perjury on, on uh, another matter and a TV station that went to try and interview her got a very rude and uh, coarse reaction from office employees. Check the Arkansas blog for the story. You know, I'm, I'm hard on uh, Mike Huckabee, the former governor of Arkansas. I've had my fun with him, so much fun that he's blocked me on Twitter. Well, let me say that Mike Huckabee isn't all bad, and on the occasion of the 20th birthday tomorrow of our kids, the health insurance program that now covers 95% of Arkansas children, he signed that legislation. He was an enthusiastic backer of it. Just shows you that all of us can have something good to say about us. So there you go, Mike. That's from Max. I'm still resisting. See you tomorrow.